It is owned by the public, managed for the public. The Forestry Commission's land covers almost a thousand square miles of England. But now much or all of it may be transferred to private ownership. The government plans to raise money from sales and to slash running costs. Save our forest! In the Forest of Dean and in other forest communities, that's brought fierce opposition across the generations. Everyone should have a right to walk in and cycle in this place because it's so beautiful and selling it just wouldn't be fair. The government is, is underestimating what value it is, I mean, just in terms of the, the, the health benefits that it gives the local population and then the people it draws into the forest. It's a beautiful place and a lot of people love it. Adding their voices to the protest today, a host of famous faces. A letter to the Sunday Telegraph signed by a hundred actors, authors, pop stars and the Archbishop of Canterbury. They know that current law means only 15% of Forestry Commission land in England can be sold, but that this week Parliament will consider new legislation, paving the way for a possible 100% sell-off. But it's not the first time that Forestry Commission land has been sold. John Clegg has been overseeing sales since the 1980s. The English market, certainly the southern half of England, is principally driven by amenity-type buyers who are looking for a woodland for enjoyment, conservation, to manage themselves. Continued public access is guaranteed in the, ter in the conditions of the sale, so the public will be able to continue to walk through the woodland and enjoy it long term. Watching it all is Lord Clark, a former chair of the Forestry Commission. He's a worried man. If the land is sold off, the rights which ordinary people have, access on foot or on mountain bikes, the ability to come and watch birds or deer, all that will be lost if it's sold off to the private sector. Wales and Scotland have rejected any idea of privatising Forestry Commission land, but later this week the government will press forward with a consultation outlining various levels of possible privatisation in England.